I know that this might sound like a cliche, but your hero section is your money maker. Why? Because that's where people land on your website and you might as well make your mark. Except for the content, you have to entice people to either take action on whatever CTA you have on your hero section or scroll further on, down on your website. And I'm always on a hunt for good hero sections, interesting ones, hero sections that make everything pop, make people stop in their tracks <laughs> or from scrolling. So I have found a very interesting hero section in Realms library and if you don't know what Realm is check this video here But they have a very cool interesting hero section component and I said why not try to replicate this to see if we can achieve the same effect in Elementor. So let's see how it turned out. So this is what we are building today. I think it's a fantastic hero section bedazzle. <laughs> and yeah, I think it would look amazing on a hero section. And let's get into it. So for this, you will need to have activated the Flexbox container in Elementor. And to do that, you go into your dashboard, go to Elementor, go to setting and go to experiment and scroll down and make sure that the Flex box container is set to active and save your changes. All right, I know that the Flexbox container is pretty new to everybody, even to me, although I know how to code and I used to use it a lot when I was coding, but when it comes to Elementor, it's a little bit tricky. So let's take it easy and take it step by step. Okay, so first thing we are going to be doing is adding a container. And this container is going to have the direction of row because we want the elements, the looping images and the text on the right side to sit next to each other. So let's select row and give me a moment here. I need to adjust something. You don't have to do this, but I did a previous test and things have moved around. All right, so we are going to give this container, I will almost call it section, <laughs> and we are going to keep it boxed and we are going to give it a, a height of 75 pH and let's add another container in here and we are going to duplicate this container and on the right side let's drag in a heading and a text editor element and a button. These are not that important, we just want them to be filling the hero section and to look like it is a hero section, basically. So let's move this to the center, all these elements, let's move them to the center of the container and to do that you go to layout and go all the way to justify content and select center. Now everything is in the center, looking good. So right now we are going to be working with this container. Okay, let's make sure that we set the this container to direction column vertical because we want the images to sit right under each other. All right, let's drag in three image elements. Okay, we can actually duplicate it and look at this. Very nice. Okay, let's add images and make sure that the images that you add are the same size. Otherwise, it's going to be looking quite strange. And this one, okay, let's wait. First one, let's set the, the size to medium. The second one, let's choose this one and the same thing, size it. It's up to you what size you choose, but I think this size is the best, in my opinion, and this one the same. All right, let's 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 give this container a different size. Let's, okay, so let's set the content width of the containers to full width and bring it down to 14%, about here. So what we want to do right now is add a padding on this container of 15, and we also want to add a top margin of 50. This will make sense once we proceed with adding the code and everything else. Okay, since this is done, we can actually duplicate it. Let's duplicate it and another one. Okay, so now we have to size the container on the, on the right side, the one with the text, and make sure, go to advanced and make sure that the size is unchecked basically because oh my god it's such a pain in the behind it's going to take some time to get used to the new container it's it's so much more different than uh, the sections okay another thing we are going to be doing is adding uh, a gap between the, these elements in the first 
section. So I'll go to layout and I'll go to gap between elements and set this to percentage 5%. The same on the, the next one, on the second one and the third column, five. Okay, let's see how it's looking so far. Okay, we are getting there. Also, make sure that you set each column to no wrap because we want this to sit at all times in a single line vertically. So go to layout, wrap, no wrap. And again, next one, the same. So we are ready to add the code on the first container. So in order to do that, click the container and go all the way to advanced CSS and paste the code. The code will be in the description below. And nothing is happening right now because we need to add the classes that we have in the code. So I will copy paste this class and let's go to layout and all the way to CSS classes and paste in there this class. You can change it, but just remember to change it in all the places. Okay, and the next step is to add for each image that we have in, in this, let's call them carousels. Uh, we are going to add another class we have in the code, which is carousel one. And I'm gonna have to add this on each image, just like this. I know it looks a little bit weird right now, but let's have a look in the preview and it's looking really good, right? And you can style the images however you want. There is a little bit of a glitch. If you look closely, there is like at some point, it doesn't really, that's the problem. I did not find a solution yet, but I'm working on it. All right, let's paste the code in this one because we have a different code. Let me just go down all the way to, okay, let's grab this code and let's go back to our second container and let's go to custom CSS and let's paste it there. And we need to add, of course, the class of vertical carousel two. And also have to add on each image, of course, let's have a preview. And as you can see in the preview looks normal compared to the preview in look at this look at how the images are jumping i don't know if this is a problem with the containers still not working properly but it's working so and let's go to the third container paste it in here and let's go again to layout and add this class And here we are. Let's see how it looks. And there you have it. Okay, now let's set it for mobile. Let's see how it looks. It's not looking really good, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, let's go to the main container, basically the section, and go to layout and go to wrap and wrap. And now we have everything in one line. All right, let's set first the container to center. So everything is in the center. I don't know what's happening with this little thing. let's set this all right so this is looking quite okay okay now, now let's see it on mobile because this is the the main problem <laughs> that we have here okay on mobile is not looking good and it's not as difficult as you think it took me forever to figure out <laughs> but i figure out so what we can do is basically go to the container the main container go to layout and make sure that there's no gap between elements. Magic, I know, it's unbelievable. And let's have a look at this beauty. I think it's fantastic, honestly. It's still a little bit kind of glitchy. It's not perfect, but it's quite interesting to have. Okay, because I have the feeling that it's a little bit more glitchy than it should be and the original version actually has four images i will be adding an image for each all right let's see how this looks we need to update i think i need to refresh the page let's see fingers crossed all right it's looking good on desktop let's see the tablet 
looking good and yes it's looking good on mobile or as good as it can yep of course it would look better with different images for each container but of course you can work that out and um, yeah i think it's a really interesting concept or idea it still needs a little bit of work because it's not perfect or as perfect as i would want it to be but i think it's interesting if you want to know what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.